Hey, what's up, guys? It's BCRE Fox127 Next Gen Eddie. Whatever I'm, my name is on wherever I'm posting this. I have a cool treat today. I'm going to be opening some uh, first edition Spanish Yu-Gi-Oh starter decks, uh, the original four. Um, so that's going to be pretty dope. Uh, let me see if I can get a flash on here. There's a way for me to get flash on this. Be fantastic. It's on one of these buttons, but basically, I'm gonna crack these open, see if uh, uh, there's anything cool in here that I don't remember being in these. Cause I know there we go, some light, so you guys can see the cards. I know all these decks have something cool in them, like that I don't remember. Like uh, there's Spanish graceful charities, I think, in one of these, which. I'm very excited for it. I like playing those in my goat decks. So uh, let's get started. We'll, I don't remember the exact order of release, but I'm gonna go in this order. So we'll start with uh, both the most mangled and I believe the first one that came out. I know they came out at the same time, right? So most people I think opened the blue eyes and the dark magician at the same time. So we have a uh, sweet Mago Oscuro. Uh, Soul Exchange, didn't know that was in this. And card destruction, pretty lit. So the supers and the ultras are definitely the most interesting part for sure. Um, especially saying, you know, oh, if this camera would focus, I'll probably do zoom in on that. Especially seeing the original uh, starter deck foils, it's super cool. But we're not gonna spend too much time. We're just gonna see if there's uh, probably one of the worst cards ever printed. Double pronged attack, nine keto. It's also interesting that they don't come there. That's change of heart. That's cool. Uh, can never use it even in goat. Not with them an offering. But yeah, I was saying I was like it's cool to see. Ooh, Spanish triple. I'm gonna be I'm mostly interested to see like how these differ from the original two because I know there's tunes are completely in this if I remember correctly. Like you have like a bunch of uh, common tunes. It's kind of cool. One of the best beaters. There he is. Ooh, ooh, what is this? Something misprinted in here? Miscut? Not sure what that's for. But there you go. We got Summon Skull. That's pretty dope. Yami. Zombie Dragon. Uh, what is it? Uh, Beaver Warrior? Beaver Warrior. Man, some of these cards are just... It's a nostalgia trip. That's kind of why I bought these. You know, some of these cards just... I don't know. Definitely what the something's going on in this thing. This is the one that was packaged the worst, so it's probably ooh ultimate off. I mean not ultimate uh, last will. That's kinda cool. You can use that in uh Rusty Cat OTK. That's kinda cool. But yeah. I'm I'm also ooh, got the first thing. I'm very interested to see if uh Isuda. See if any of the foils are uh, like in pretty good condition. Uh, maybe we can get some graded. I am gonna frame them for sure, but like the Yugi deck seems to be the one that didn't really age the best. Um, it's so really cool. So we got kind of a Nick right here. Let's see if we can break it up. That isn't perfect, but it's still really good. You know, first dead Turk Magician, you know. Still in packaging after all these years. It's not bad. Still love to see it, right? So let's make some room. Uh, I gotta move my controller. I do have sleeves, so we are gonna sleeve uh, the foils, at least. And basically any card I do plan on using for, like, goat format. Um, which, you know, Grace of Charity is definitely one of those. Which I think is in Joey's. Joey's has a lot of interesting cards, if I remember correctly. Um, which is, that's cool. I'm also trying not to make this too, too long, you know. But definitely want to see all these sweet old cards. And, you know, nostalgia is a huge thing right now, you know, with especially with Pokemon blowing up super hard. Yu Gi Oh! Like, Old cards are being bought up pretty pretty often. Uh, we've 
mildly interesting stuff on this side. But I think I might only sleep foils and if anything's like goat format really. Like I should sleep the ultimate offering. Now this is the one I'm most excited for because this uh, if it's in good condition it kind of makes the purchase worth it because it would pay for all of them. Uh, Spanish Spanish stacks, especially because these didn't come in the packaging, they uh, they only came in the original wrapping. Uh, I hope so, it looks like original wrapping, right? Uh, these are a lot more inexpensive compared to the English ones. The English ones are, whew, the, the full cards alone are expensive, so I can't imagine what uh, even open packaged starter decks would cost. I know fully packaged uh, are expensive, I wasn't even gonna, I'm not that crazy about old cards, you know. Mostly for nostalgia trip, I want to decorate uh, with the foils, so I got a frame for them. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. So, now this is the one I'm most interested in. If this is in, in mint, you know, pack fresh, and it looks to be, it's pretty clean. You know, the front looks great. Uh, this, uh, it's, it's a little scuffed, you know, it could be just because it's been sitting in was packaging for so long, but that looks fantastic. Um, I know there's a lot of glare because I have two lights. I have light on the end, light on the cards, but it's just to make sure you guys can see everything. Um, but this is super sweet. That is definitely makes the whole thing worth it. You know, uh, it's crazy to think that it's this day and age. Vanilla blue eyes is still that exciting. Got Lord of D, Senor the D. Still pretty dope. Looks pretty good. Um, I'm also not trying to take too long because I know this sometimes this camera setup, uh, the way it's recorded, it will freeze up. And I've noticed my capture card, so you'll notice on uh, this side. Sorry, it's flipped this side. Uh, I have some Yu Gi Oh! game in the background. My capture card has been glitching out lately, so I might have to look into, into that to see there's a little bit of blip. Um, hopefully, it doesn't happen too often. It's a uh, Flute of Summoning Dragon. Okay, cool. Uh, the rest we'll kind of go through. Again, I don't think there's anything super, super interesting. I love the anniversary foil of this. I kind of wish I still had it, honestly. Man. Some of these vanillas, though. Ooh, I actually use this guy. I have one of my decks. Uh, ooh, some Vigoration? Vigoration? Vigorate? No oh, wrong attack. Pale Beast. It's like Demon Warrior or something. This guy has the same name, that's cool. Kaiser, Rude Kaiser. Uh, I've always liked the artwork for this. It's one of those like original Yu-Gi-Oh cards that I like. I just love. Uh, what is this, like Ancient Telescope? Sword Stalker. I was obsessed with this card as a kid. Uh, both because of the anime and the art for it was super sick. Uh, I don't know if they ever made a foil, but I know I've always wanted a foil of it. I wonder if like in the Kaiba uh, Legendary Collection or something, it's a foil. Uh, Battle Ox, super sick. What's his name? Rabbit Horseman? Rabbit Horseman? Yeah. Another Dark Hole. That's cool. Um, and then there's like the argument that maybe over time keeping these seals would have been better. Oh, just desserts. Uh, Human D. D Human. Uzaki. Ukazi, sorry. Ooh, Judgment Quest. That's kind of cool. Yeah, Kaiba's deck though, like, in terms of, like, cool cards, it's basically the, the Reborn's, like, the best part. Um, nothing else was that, that, that interesting. Uh, Joey's deck, I think, I'm also very interested in, because I think there's a, a Flame Swordsman, and, um, it's not a great card, but I do like having random fusions in my uh, Goat Fusion deck. Uh, let's see. Red Eyes also is, if it's in good condition, is also pretty dope. Uh, let's see. Uh, not really focusing. Uh, not focusing that well. But yeah, it looks good too. Uh, it's a little, a little dirty. It's got a bit of a scratch right there. The back of it looks really clean though. Go ahead and sleep. I'm oh, sorry. I had a so that's my notifications because otherwise you'll guys you'll hear that on the recording. Uh, Soldado Pinguino. 
Still one of my favorite cards to this day, just for the, the name alone. Uh, cool effect, cool side deckable stuff. Well, like ten years ago, right? Escape goat. This will make my like fifth or fourth Spanish one. I love I love collecting these. Uh, my whole thing, like ever, especially just like in general Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm uh, super obsessed with it. I love uh, Spanish cards. Um, it's just my thing. And most card games I try to get Spanish cards. Like, I have a playset of uh, Spanish uh, Gladiators Proving Grounds. I have uh, Scapegoats. I have a Premature Burial. I have a couple different, like, really cool uh, old foils. In Spanish, I just I love them. Ah, there we go. Uh, Thousand Dragon, Mahavelo, who is getting a retrain. It's kind of cool. Yeah. There it is. It's it's interesting to me that they didn't sort these in any way. I wonder if that's how it's always been. It's been so, uh, you know, it's been like twenty years since I opened this exact deck. This is probably my first start deck that I ever got. Not my first Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but definitely my first starter deck. Um, also in Spanish, it was on sale at Target for like, uh, like five bucks or something. My mom bought it. It's pretty cool. Source Metal Land Star. Ooh, Gear Freak. Ooh, Giant Tree. I didn't know that was in here. Last Radiant. Uh, ooh, there it is. Magician of Fate. Sangan. That's cool. See, Jeff's deck is actually pretty busted. It's got a lot of cool cards. And, you know, since they all have pretty much the same. Trap Hole, Monster Reborn, Dark Hole. So it's cool that he has a bunch of other useful cards. Time Wizard. Um, they all have Change of Heart too, which is crazy. Uh, let's fix this pile up. Alright, the, the one I'm most excited for. So the whole reason I kind of did this purchase was, um, if I remember correctly, there should be a super... Uh, Black Illusion Ritual, and one of my favorite goat decks to play right now, um, if I didn't put it far away, maybe I can grab it afterwards, uh, is uh, playing Relinquish Control, which is just goat control, but you also play the Relinquishes. It's one of my uh, favorite things to play. Uh, it's just a really cool deck. Um, so I'm very excited. I'm hoping the Relinquish is also in decent condition. Um, so far, it's just the... The one that was packaged the worst, which is the Dark Magician, though. That's the only one that looks pretty bad. So, let's see. It's also crazy because this smells like it came straight out of a printer. There's nothing but that ink smell. It's crazy. Like, they've been sitting in this for, you know, what, what now? Like, 20, 18 years? 2002, maybe? Right? Oh, no, this only tells you the 96. But I think these all came out in, like, 2002, 2003, if I remember correctly. It's crazy. But, yeah. I like wish. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep this bad boy out. It looks fantastic. It has Hollow Bleed, which. Do you want to Hollow Bleed? No, that's crazy. The Hollow Bleed in the uh, text box. It could be because it's a ritual, so the lighter blue makes it easier to pop off. Crazy. This card, though, I'm interested. Uh, I don't remember Griffin Wing being in this, and I'm curious as to why, considering Feather Duster is not. An easy card to get, so it's interesting. I'm probably going to sleep this. I should, cause ooh, there. <gasps> so it's a f Spanish. It's a foil card in Graceful Charity. So it's not a super. Uh, that's interesting. So it's not a super Black Illusion ritual. I thought it was. I'm very surprised by that. That's interesting. Let me double check that. That doesn't seem right. Um, we should get a regular Black Illusion Ritual for sure. Uh, now that we have all these. Just put this there. So I may just frame these. There's a very high chance they just stay in the frame. Especially because there's no super uh, hard, uh, I mean, uh, Black Illusion Ritual. It's interesting. Clan Control, anybody? Let's see what that's, that's called. We're going to get, I think, all the original tunes in Spanish. Uh, I think it's like Toons, uh, it's also cool. Uh, we should also get to a hey, Muka Muka shout outs to, uh, my friend Ryan Krieg, Ray, uh, this card helped him beat one of those, uh, old 
not beat, but win a couple of those uh, duels in a uh, old uh, DS game. Pretty funny. Tune something. It's called Tune Alligator. It's not actually a tune. Uh, soul Exchange. I mean, uh, Soul Release. It's cool. Another uh, Seven Tools. Hero Scout. It's cool. Uh, Robin Goblin. Uh, Tune Mermaid. That's cool. I think this grabs a ritual, right? Huh, cool. There's Rio Ram, but there's an end mango Rio Ram. Yeah, that's interesting. It's a, it's a, it's a common black illusion. I always thought it was a foil in this. I think it was. I thought it was a super in this deck. So that's kind of lame, but still cool. Still gonna use it. A Spanish MST. So yeah, that's kind of cool. This deck is interesting. It's not like that great. It's usable. Uh, Ring of Magnetism, which I thought was OP as a kid, but it's not that good. Trap holes. That's interesting. All of these I think have uh, not necessarily damage, but like it has like small print lines on the top, so looks like they weren't perfect. It's reborn on top. Ah, I dropped something. There's Toon World. Mundo Toon. It's very cool. Uh, which that was really cool. That was pretty fun. Um, but it looks like the cards I was hoping were in really, really good condition are, which is fantastic, uh, these three. Again, I, as soon as I opened the box for uh, the package, this this was not like a box, which is like paper like to uh, keep it together. It's horrible packaging. Um, but, again, uh, I'm trying to find the card that's on the floor, but I, oh, there it is. Before I crush it. Uh, it's a man eater bug. That was really cool. Uh, all these old cards, I'll probably sleeve up, you know, I'll probably proxy these and we can probably get some friends to play the original decks. It'll be kind of fun. Um, I think what will make it really fun is all of these are in Spanish, so uh, for my non-Spanish speakers, if you don't remember what some of these cards do, that'll be interesting. Um, man, I'm, I'm actually kind of upset that it's not a super, but it's okay. Um, it's still cool to open, right? That's awesome. So yeah. That's gonna do it. I'm gonna sleeve up a couple more of these cards, and I might, I might really consider, because I was thinking definitely grading this guy, um, just because it's blue eyes. Is like, at this point, getting an original lob is pretty hard, right? Opening first at lob is pretty hard. Uh, Dark Duel Stories ones, you know, had I've had one in the past, and that's gone now. So it's cool that at least I have a original uh, blue eyes again. Uh, Spanish, you know, it's not the most collectible one, but it's, 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 it's the language I love, right? Um, but yeah, that's gonna do it. I might do another video to go over some of my goat decks. Um, there's a bunch of stuff I have, so we can kind of go through that. Uh, and yeah, I'll probably do an update if I ever do look into creating these guys. The Dirt Magician for sure is definitely staying with me. It's just, it's the one that's in the worst condition. Uh, if I can maybe like, I don't know, clean the back. Maybe. But we'll see. This is uh, Eddie signing off.